Hey, what is up guys, Eric here, and with the launch of Android 4.4 KitKat, there have been some features and stuff that they didn't tell you right off the bat that you're going to be getting with KitKat. So in this video, I'm going to try and uh, tell you guys some of the hidden features in 4.4 KitKat. So the first of which is going to be screen recording. You can now record the screen of your Android device right within uh, Android software, so you don't need to download any third-party apps uh, in order to record the screen. And of course, um, if it's something in the software, it's probably going to have um, a lot better frame rate um, and the quality of the video is going to be a lot better. So I think it's really cool that um, Google decided to include a screen recorder into uh, Android itself. The second of which is going to be um, easy launcher switching. So now you could download lots of launchers um, from the Google Play Store, but you really, you're not going to have such a good time with them because in order for you to switch the launcher and make it the default launcher, you have to go into all types of settings and stuff. Um, and with Android 4.4 KitKat, that's all changed. You have in the settings app, you have a launcher tab um, that you could go into and easily pick the launcher of your choice. After that, we have a built-in photo editor. So if you're one of those people that likes um, editing photos, then you guys are in luck because you don't need to download any third-party software. I mean, you can if you'd like to, but Android has a, um, a pretty cool built-in photo editor, which of course I'm going to demo in my full KitKat review. So go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already if you want to see that. Um, but basically it's just a standalone photo editor um, that Google decided to uh, put in uh, and I think that's uh, pretty cool. Um, after that we have a um, resolution change automatically while you're watching video. So let's say you're watching a YouTube video um, and you know you don't have such a good internet connection. So basically what YouTube will do is YouTube will know to switch the uh, resolution of a video inside the video while you're watching it to a lower resolution so that way the frame rate will be faster um, and you'll be able to watch the video um, and it's pretty cool that Android kind of knows how to do that now. After that of course we do have a host card emulation. Um, so now this is you know kind of it's kind of hard to explain but basically in a nutshell if you have an Android device with an NFC chip, you'll be able to make NFC payments in stores with your device with an NFC chip. Now, previously this was only, uh, you, you could only make uh, purchases in Google Wallet using your um, Android device that was on a specific carrier, but um, now that they have host card emulation, not only does your phone not need a secure element, but all it needs is an NFC chip, and of course it needs to be running 4.4 KitKat, and you can make in-store payments anywhere you are. After that, we do of course have the IR blaster support, so if you do have a phone with an IR blaster, uh, and let's say for some reason you want to um, root it and put stock Android on it, so if you have an IR blaster, you won't need to worry because you could just um, use 4.4 KitKat's IR Blaster feature to use your IR Blaster feature. Now, of course, the Nexus 5 doesn't have an IR Blaster, so um, it's kind of weird that they put it in there, um, or whatever. So then after that, of course, we do have it that the SMS app has actually moved into the Hangouts app. So if you weren't a fan of the Hangouts app now, you'll be even less of a fan of it now. Um, basically, what I just said is that um, if you get a lot of SMS, well, if you still SMS people, then you need to SMS them inside the Hangouts app. And um, of course, you could download a third party SMS app if you so desire. Um, but, you know, it's kind of weird that Google kind of put the, they took their liberties to put the SMS app in the Hangouts app. So, those are all those features. Again, I don't really know how many I told you. Um, but it will be in the title of this video or on the thumbnail. Um, but of course, if you enjoy this video, feel free to share it with your friends and that really, because that really helps. Um, and go ahead and subscribe. That's all for this video and have a great day.